Welcome to this presentation. The topic of this presentation is symmetry elements and symmetry operations. Myself, Dr. Shagina, Assistant Professor of Chemistry, Sanitary College, Tinalveni. Introduction. Regarding the introduction, understanding of symmetry is element essential in discussion of molecular symmetry and calculation of molecular properties. Consider the structures of BF3 and BF2H, both of which are planar. Here, the bond distances are slightly different. One is trigonal planar, another one is pseudo trigonal planar. The molecular properties regarding their symmetry properties are not the same. Therefore, group theory is the mathematical treatment of symmetry. In this chapter, we introduce the fundamental language of group theory, symmetry operator, symmetry element, point group and character table. Symmetry operations and symmetry elements. Consider the molecule BF3. 120 rotation gives rise to the position, change in position of the fluorine atom. Again 120 rotation gives leads to your original molecule which is indistinguishable from the original molecule. This type of operation that is performed about an axis perpendicular to the plane of paper and passing through the boron atom, the axis is the example of an symmetry element. Next comes the symmetry operations which can be carried out with respect to points, lines or planes and we call it as a symmetry elements. Rotation about n-fold axis of symmetry. Here, the denote, it is denoted by the symbol Cn. The symmetry operation of rotation about n-fold axis in which the angle of rotation is given by the formula Cn is equal to 360 degree divided by n where n is an integer. Consider the molecule. In this molecule, we can see the rotational axis. Next come reflection through a plane of symmetry. Mirror plane. If the reflection of all parts of a molecule through a plane produces an indistinguishable configuration, the plane is a plane of symmetry. Consider this molecule. We can see the symmetry operation is one of reflection and the symmetry element is a mirror plane which is denoted by the symbol sigma. If the plane lies perpendicular to the vertical principal axis, it is denoted by the symbol sigma h. If the plane contains the principal axis, it is labeled as sigma v. Consider the water molecule here, C1, C2 and the three figures. A special type of sigma plane which contains the principal rotation axis but which bisects the angle between two adjacent twofold axes is labeled as sigma d. Here next we consider xenon F4 that is xenon tetrafluoride molecule. Here we can see the sigma h plane which is perpendicular to the principal axis C4. Also this molecule contains two sigma v planes consider the C4 axis and one C2 axis. Also each of the two sigma d planes contains the C4 axis and one C2 axis. In the notation for the plane of symmetry, sigma that is the subscript h, v and d stands for horizontal, vertical and dihedral respectively. Reflection through a center of symmetry. The other name of this particular symmetry operation is inversion center. With the reflection of all parts of a molecule through a center of the molecule produces an indistinguishable configuration. The center is the center of symmetry and also called the center of inversion. It is designated by the symbol I. Consider carbon dioxide, benzene and sulfur hexafluoride. All these molecules have the center of symmetry I. Here in this example, 6SN2F2, xylene and hydrogen sulfide, it contains no I. Next, the symmetry operation is the improper axis of rotation that is rotation about an axis followed by reflection through a plane perpendicular to its axis. If the rotation through 360 divided by n about an axis followed by reflection through a plane perpendicular to an axis yield an indistinguishable configuration. The axis is an n-fold rotation reflection axis 
and is also known as improper rotation axis and it is denoted by the symbol Sn. Here we can see rotate the molecule through 90 degree. We can see the equivalent configuration then reflect through the plane that is perpendicular to the original rotation axis. Finally, the identity operators. All objects can be operated upon the identity operator E. The operator E leaves the molecule unchanged. Here, these are some of the list of the symmetry elements containing the molecule. For example, hydrogen peroxide, NO2, BrF5, C2H2, BF3, xenon F fluoride, carbon dioxide, methane, sulfur hexafluoride and other borates. All these, the structure and the types of symmetry elements present in the molecules are listed in the particular table. Now you can understand what are the symmetry elements and what are the operations performed on a particular molecule to obtain a symmetry element. So in this class we can study the different types of symmetry elements and the operation is operated on a particular molecule. Thank you.